Hey guys, Jen here, and today, hopefully, I want to make sure you can hear me, first of all. Um, so, let me see if you can hear me. I, I did something weird on my Ecamm settings, so I just want to make sure that you can hear me. So, as soon as somebody says, yes, I can hear you, I will get started. Actually, I, I think I can do it myself. Yeah, okay, we've got sound. Okay, we're good. So, um, and this is the first time that I am using Restream.io connected with Ecamm Live, which is a live streaming software that I just absolutely love. I also use StreamYard a good bit, um, but just so you know, Ecamm Live, you can also simulcast, like you can be everywhere. So right now, um, I am on YouTube and all my Facebook channels and Periscope slash Twitter um, all at one time. So that's really cool. Okay, we're going to talk about adding a favicon, favicon to your website, your landing pages, um, all pages. And it's just really a good practice to keep in mind for branding. Um, and if you don't even know what a favicon is, I will show you that. So this is one of those things. It's... it's um, it's it's a small subtle thing but you know the beauty is in the details right so it's just one of those details that um that people do notice and that you want to pay attention to as well so let me share my screen and um i'll say entire screen And um, I'm going to be showing you that this is for my Kajabi users out there. If you don't use Kajabi, uh, whatever you use, make sure just Google how to add a favicon Squarespace, how to add a favicon WordPress, whatever you use, go ahead and um, and look into that because again, it is just it's a little detail, but it's an important detail. And in Kajabi, it's super simple, but there are a few places that you need to be mindful of. So we've gotten in the habit, my team and I, of that we have like three things that we always do when we go into Kajabi um, that is just like the very beginning things that we do before we do anything else every single time. And one of those things is setting up the favicon. So first of all, let's look at what a favicon is. So I'm going to zoom in. Uh, let's see here I really can't do that what I'm trying to show you is if you look at the tabs that are open over here on um, on Chrome the top of my page you'll see restream is over here on the right Canva is here Kajabi is here one tab is here over on Kajabi on the first tab right here you'll see there's the little blue K on it's tiny I know I'm trying to zoom in but let me see here. Let me go to view, zoom in. Did that help? The, um, the little C is for Canva. It's their logo and the R is for Restream. So that way, every single um, tab that you have open, it's branded. Now, what Kajabi will do is they will default, like if you create a page or a pipeline or a website, it's going to have the Kajabi branded branding on it by default. And you don't want that. You want your branding on that. Okay. So here we are, my demo Kajabi site, so I can teach Kajabi uh, without having to show all of my junk. So, um, so here we are in Kajabi, and this is the main website page. So you look over here on the left. So whatever is your main page for your site, that's the first place where you want to um, you want to upload a favicon. So how do you even create a favicon? So you're going to go to Canva or PicMonkey or whatever is your design place of choice. I just happen to love Canva. And you're going to come over here and you're going to click create a design. And once you do that, over here on the top corner, you're going to click custom dimensions. And by the way, I at the moment cannot see your comments if you are commenting, uh, but I will be able to do that when I'm done to answer any questions. So um, you want to put in 64 by 
64. And I think Canva prompts you. I mean, uh, Kajabi gives you a 30, I think 32 by 32. But this makes it a little crisper and, uh, and brighter. So use these dimensions, 64 by 64. Then click Create New Design. And this is where so, um, if you, you're going to, it's going to be all about your branding. So whatever your logo is, whatever your color is, um, that's what you want to use for your favicon. It's just, it's just miniature. Um, but you want it to be very bright, very bold. Um, so I've gone ahead and um, created something since I don't have any branding on this demo site. I thought, well, why don't, why don't I just do that? So I'm going to go into my folders here and then I'm going to go into logos and I put it there. Uh, so there it is. And I'm going to stretch it out. All right. So it's just a big D for demo. Okay. Um, and now I am going to download that. Let me change the name uh, so I can find it. Favicon demo. All right. And download that. All right, so it is downloading. So now let's go back over to Kajabi. Hi there, Nika here. So I'm taking over the video on how to add the favicon on our websites and on our landing pages. First, you need to go to website and then under design, you'll see here homepage and then click on customize. and go to settings and the first thing you see here is favicon just click on that and we have to upload the new favicon that we've created so upload a new file let me just go to downloads where did the job camp and favicon demo so here is our logo save that one and let's just wait till it's done processing so it's there click on save and then click on back and then save again so let's preview this home page hopefully we'll see it right away so this is the old okay if you could see the logo here right beside demo site is already the new favicon so now let's do this on one of our landing pages. Come back and then right uh, below the sign, you'll see page builder. Click on that one and then we could select one demo page, one landing page we've created. So click on customize this paint icon here. Click on that one. And also the same thing that we've done in our website, click on settings and favicon. And then the good thing here is we don't need to upload the file because we've uploaded it already. Just select a recent file and we'll see it here. So there we go. Just click save. And let's wait until it's done processing. So we'll also uh, see it when we preview the site. Click on save. Don't forget to click on save. And then click on save again. So if I click on preview, you will notice that the favicon is still the old, wa old one, but it will just switch right away. So here I click on the preview button and then demo page. There you go the updated favicon is already there so that's how you add your favicons in your landing pages and in your website